Combining and analyzing different modalities of health data can establish a more comprehensive patient or population overview. This can lead to more data-driven research, personalized patient care plans, and better overall outcomes. However, as healthcare organizations continue generating and accumulating large volumes of multimodal and multi-omic data, ingesting, analyzing, and extracting insights increasingly becomes more challenging. AWS Health Omics is a purpose-built AWS service that helps health organizations transform genomic, transcriptomic, and other omics data into insights. With AWS Health Omics, you can securely prepare and ingest omics data to combine it with other data modalities. This helps you deliver more personalized care as well as securely scale to support large-scale analysis and collaborative research projects at the population level. Let's explore how AWS Health Omics and other purpose-built AWS services can help a clinical researcher simplify building a cohort of patients for a clinical trial based on genomic and clinical data. First, import health record, imaging, and genomic data from a synthetic multimodal data set, in this case, Synthia. Healthcare users can import genomic variant and annotation data with AWS Health Omics, imaging data with AWS Health Imaging, and clinical data stored in the FHIR format with AWS Health Lake. These purpose-built services simplify the ingestion and management of specific data types, quickly making them query-ready for analysis. This Synthia dataset has genomics and clinical record data of patients with one of four conditions, Alzheimer's disease, hypertension, coronary artery disease, or coronary artery disorder. From this, you can generate a variant data table that's ready for analysis. Similarly, here is demographic data from a patient's table, created using clinical records. You can join the genomics data with the patient demographic data using a common key, which in this case is patient ID. Now you can use Amazon QuickSight to create interactive dashboards with the integrated data. To explore what a patient cohort could look like, you can build a dashboard to examine different characteristics of a data set, such as the age distribution of patients and the genes that may be associated with a specific disease. In this example, we are looking for patients with a specific variant in the APOE gene who are between 40 and 60 years of age. You can first filter the data set to only include patients between 40 and 60. Then, select the APOE gene to find the three variants of this gene associated with Alzheimer's. The clinical trial refers to the inclusion of a specific variant, which you can drill down to choose. From here, you can view how many patients in the dataset satisfy the clinical trial criteria. This creates a list of patients with specific APOE gene variants, along with their demographic information and other details. Researchers can use this information to more accurately assess what a clinical trial cohort may entail from this population. This example shows how you can use purpose-built services like AWS Health Omics to unite different modalities of data. Unified data helps to identify the cohort of patients, such as those eligible for a clinical trial based on specific genomic and demographic criteria. In turn, this assists with creating more comprehensive and inclusive clinical trials, driving better research outcomes.